guys, it's been a little bit it's been there. Welcome back to Half-Life. In the last part, we got the assault rifle. We also got the, uh, we also went through office complex. Also, these guys. I haven't got grabbed by one of them yet. Watch out for that. Instead, we'll go this way. It's a dead end. Actually. may be able to sequence break this. If you get grabbed onto this guy. Dragged up near the top, they're kind of frightening, and then you know, crap. That didn't work. I, I thought I thought you could jump up to the top. I don't know. Anyway, you want to watch out for these things. Also, you want to watch out for the sentries. If you're pro enough, you can dodge them. You can dodge these. Wing it! Black Mesa Source is a different bit here altogether. Close the door, so it's all good. Anyway, I should probably start fighting these guys, shouldn't I? There's a couple guys there as well. Now, Black Mesa Swords, I believe, you get a different weapon here as well. By the way, the pistol is more accurate, so if you want to hit targets from a distance, the pistol is actually a rather good weapon when you think about it. Whoa! Oh, yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got caught by the barnacle and now he's getting killed. That's one thing I like, is that all the aliens fight together and then all these guys fight together. So, yeah. These are the Marines, by the way. I don't know. You can go or something. I don't know. This game apparently takes place in... Also explosive barrels. This game apparently takes place in America. But... It's kind of weird. Oh, crap. No. Yeah, if you shoot it enough times at the beginning, it doesn't drag you up all the way. And you can manage to get away safely. But yeah. Yeah, so, yeah I, mean, I mean, it does take place in America. But are these guys... The um, army, I don't know. I don't know. In Half Life 2, they were aliens. The Combine were aliens. Big spoilers, or whatever. <laughs> but they didn't like head grabs. I don't know. They were, they were completely different alien race. That's why they did stuff. I don't know. But I don't know why they're humans. We're above! Holy snap, we used the same architecture in Portal, except way larger. <laughs> Shotgun. The shotgun's effective as well. There you are, that's, that works. Okay, run away, no one. Run away, guy. I don't know. I think we just pressed the button. I'll use the health. Okay, now, this bit is where it's. Oh crap, I knocked the mouse. This bit is pretty awesome as well, this is the outside bit. But the only problem is, you think you finally gotten out of the freaking complex, and instead, I want you to count how many seconds, like, I'm not going to show a timer, but I want you to count how many seconds you're free, okay, now, first of all, yeah, lots of explosives and whatever, you get to heal, because we've never been Yeah, there's tons of explosives. I'm going to shoot this guy now. Also, there's explosives, so that's one of my biggest gripes with this, is that you're just dying. Okay, this is what you're supposed to do. Run here, go on the ground. That was it. Again, danger equals don't go there. This this game definitely showed that Valve had a very good sense of how good game design works. Because they knew exactly like what to draw you in and what to not draw you and they know they knew exactly like how to show things. Right, so I'm gonna go in here. One thing you should notice that there maybe first of all yeah they exploded the thing oh and then I think they're dropping a couple of guys. So I'm gonna start ducking down. Oh yeah they're gonna come up here. The plane coming over. That's a helicopter I know. Yeah they're coming. Grab go, reload! Hold on, wait! Wait for me! I got it. There you go, I got it. So I think they chuck a couple of grenades down here. Yeah, I think they did. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Now, I believe this next section confused me a lot before, because there is a couple of side areas. 
Now, there's there's a couple of turrets that can try and hit you for that. You can also go down there, and over here. This side area, I don't think it actually does anything. Like, there's nothing there. It allows you to kind of get a grasp of the situation and take out a couple of guys early, but... This bit is where you want to go, because not only is this bit got armor, which is handy, it's also got some ammo, and some health. But there's some Vortigons through here, but don't worry about that. And then basically what you want to do is you kind of climb over here. Now this is one problem with the design, is that this section is a bit annoying. Okay, and you can go down there, but there's nothing down there. So I can see I'm running out of flashlight, but I just turn off, and it goes back up. Now, yeah, so you're thinking, where do you gotta go? This is where you actually have to go. Right here. You see this ladder? Now the ladder's kind of awkward, but you can edge your way past that fan. That's one of the annoying parts, is that you think you go across, because one, there's an alleyway, and two, there's a fan, so you're thinking, okay, I don't go down the fan. But actually, you do go down the fan. And that's one of the, That's why this section's a bit annoying. There's quite a lot that you can look at, but I'm not going to look at it, because it's, it's kind of dangerous. You put yourself in the way of, um turrets. I mean, why would you do that? There's also two ways to go, two ways to go, this way, well, so goes back to the beginning, so. <laughs> Hit the button and we're done. You wanna look at the other section? Okay, I'll look at it for you. Oh yeah, this guy's talking about a decommissioned rail system. Oh. Are you kidding me? Wow. Really? It's just a random dead end? Wow. Why'd they do that? They could've just used like a different kind of grading. I don't know why they did that. But anyway, yeah, there's a whole bit there, but you can't really do anything and the turrets are just gonna try and gun you down. So you're gonna take damage and there's nothing there. But since we're back at the beginning, we may as well go on to the next chapter, which is Blast Pit. This one is one that lots of people love. It's one of the more memorable ones, actually. Break yourself through the wood. So there's one of these guys last here. Alright, let's see if we can take him out with just a pistol. And there's a head crab, I'll take him out. There you go, got him. Oh, crap. Okay, you get him. Ah, they're all over me. That jump was very good, wasn't it? Very majestic. Very majestic. Anyway. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, without using the pistol that much, you get a lot of ammo. So it's very good as a backup weapon. The pistol. Not, uh, it also deals a lot of damage, so... The pistol's a very handy weapon. Now, when you push that, it should open the hatch. There you go. One thing you may notice is that the ladder is extremely short. That's because there's a platform that you press the button on and then it all goes down. Okay, so yeah, Blast Pit's one that a lot of people like. And you'll notice by the end of it. You'll notice why people like it. Because it's a very well designed area. Also, it kind of involves this. Uh, I could worry about those guys, but I'm not. By the way, we haven't seen that many of them. This mechanic will be used a bit later. The... Unfortunately, it doesn't run them over. Oh, it does. Got a couple of these guys. Anyway. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Ab abandoned ship. If you keep standing on that thing as it hits this, you will actually fly off and you will land on those boxes. And I think you can save yourself on those boxes, but the easy way is just to jump off and climb under here. Because then you can just go straight to the edge. Yeah, I think you may be able to jump it, I don't know. Anyway, so we're starting to get into, like, radiation and whatever. Dude. Crap! 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 Get out of here! Ah! Ah! Alright, um, safe. Partially. It does drain your armor, and unfortunately, yeah, it's a bit weird. You don't deal with it that much, you only deal with it in this kind of chapter, really. Now, dark, dark tunnel, that's always the best place to be. Jump out, because it's a bit of a sty- Ow, my legs. I think you're supposed to actually stay on these. Probably supposed to stay on them. Yeah. 
and then you climb down. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wow, that was a very pro move you did there. You just completely. Yeah, you bit my butt. Don't let them bite you. Let them shoot you. Yeah, okay, but don't let them bite you. Alright, we did it. Health, armor, and. You can really tell the echo effect here. A couple of those spitter guys, uh, I still don't know their names, I, sh I should know. Even cause Gary's not tells you. Okay, and anyway, yeah, I like this area, but unfortunately you don't go to it that much. You don't, you don't experience it that much, you just kind of jump across a few things and then you just go right out. And then the effect wears off. <laughs> okay, now I believe this is what people love about it. This area here. First of all, random Pikachu thing. Second of all, that guy. Why am I still using the pistol, you may ask? I'm a weirdo. There you go. Ooh. Anyway, so yeah. This just whole section. Is awesome. Why did I do that? I'm a smart. Of course. That's an explosive as well. <laughs> anyway, crouch jump. Ah! Yeah, let's not do that, okay? First of all, shotgun. Second of all, boom! Did I kill him? Wow. Alright. You can shoot the... Oh, wow. oh for goodness sake, he knocked me off. <laughs> Alright. But, um... Yeah, like, this area... Is it's just probably the most memorable part of the game. Like, one of the most. We'll be going back to this map specifically several times. I'll do it. So I'm a spot. <laughs> he just killed himself! Whoa! Didn't kill that guy, but. <laughs> anyway. Now, thankfully, in Black Mesa Source, this is all one map. Unfortunately, in this game, the insides is apparently a different map, and that kind of doesn't make sense, because you keep going out to the outside section. Destroy the damn thing before it grows any larger. Okay, Tom Max, I'll do that. I'll do that. Anyway, so yeah, this is probably the first boss, actually. Yeah. Now, first of all, you can see it's kind of weird. Also, also, we don't have power, we don't have oxygen, and we don't have fuel. You'll need to get both, all three of those up and running. And that's where this section kind of shines, because it's pretty awesome. Get some explosives. Anyway, yeah, so this is the more annoying bit, because you got to deal with this guy. And unfortunately, I am not good at doing that. Darn it. Now, when he says this thing hears us, and then he gives you grenades, your assumption, my assumption is, you use the grenades, and he'll actually listen to the grenades and attempt to use those, but I find it's just better if I just run it. I just hope by chance I get out alive. Seriously, this, this thing kind of chases you down. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, you flick the first switch uh, on, the, on this level. Hello! Thankfully there's a little pipe there, so I can actually climb across it this time. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward. And then you move on. Now this one I believe bo does both the oxygen and the fuel. We need the power as well in the in the other, in another section. This one does both of the, uh, the two of them, but you gotta do another one. So. Uh. Oh, dude, you dodged it. Dude, you dodged it. Stop dodging. Guy in there? I think there is a guy in there. I don't know, I'm hearing the guy. There you go. Alright, so. Oh, crap! Okay, I'm, I'm good. Okay, so anyway, yeah, Blast Pit is a bit that tons of people remember, and it's actually a very fun section. You want to stay on this, by the way. Black Mesa Source, I actually got stuck because I fell off this. Oh, dead end. That's one thing I like though, is that sometimes yeah, the architecture actually does look like it would exist. 
It's just that there's so many different sections that kind of seems a little bit impractical, but you never know. Hold on, can you get this up? Ladders? Alright. Get off my face. Hold on. Grenades? Why would I need those? Oh, because you need to get rid of the guy later. We're not in that room, by the way. We're in a different room. Oh! Hello! I haven't gone home yet. Anyway. This part is pretty awesome. It's a giant fan! This is my biggest fan. Now one thing you gotta watch out is that look at the blaze. They go kinda close. Now when you activate that, you get enough time to kind of make your escape. And then you jump it! You slam your head on the ceiling. <laughs> you just gotta break yourself a bit of a way, and then you get yourself on the ceiling, and then you got the hugest grate in the game. Also, a head kind of jumps down. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, like a giant fan. Like seriously, what game Toy Story 2 would do that? Toy Story 2 came like the year after, so. Wood in front of the metal. Okay. So anyway, yeah, so we got the fan up. And if we smash through here, we end up in a different room. This one actually does both. The fan actually does nothing. It's just that both the oxygen and the fuel are both activated by these things. And once they're both lit up, then you know that you can leave. Well, you can leave anyway, but you want to leave once you get once you get both of those up. Now I'll go. I'll, I'll drag this part on until the end of blast bit because it's not that long. All right. So once we do that, then it's possible to, for speedruns to actually do really large jumps around this place. It's actually quite amazing. They don't have to go inside uh, until they're done. Okay. Now here's the problem: is that. I've got to manage to get in here, move about, break this thing up without getting killed. Oh, okay. Now this jump, this jump, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's extremely far. I also don't know why I'm still alive. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, okay, come on, we can do this. By the way, that's the auto save system in, thing up in uh, progress. Sometimes it even gives you different, sometimes it even puts you on different maps, it's kind of weird. But, um, here's one thing I noticed, is that, is that, um, Half-Life Source doesn't actually auto-save, and that's, that, if you want to learn how to, how the manual save, like, if you want to actually get used to manual saving, play Half-Life Source. It, 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 it's like, there's no auto-save for, for some reason. Oh, no! He ate them! And then they're gonna eat me! Oh my god! Yeah, man. Okay. Hello, Mr. Charlie. Oh, you're not on the bridge. I'll just take you out. Alright, we'll just keep on going. Oh, yeah. Drips and electricity. By the way, the enemies do stay on the max. A little bit of water here. Thankfully, that won't be a problem because we're not dealing with electricity, are we? No, we are. Barnacles in the in Black Mesa Source. Black Mesa Source is a community mod, by the way, and it's not entirely finished. Oh, rah. I was like, oh gosh. Um. Anyway, there's a ladder there. You may have noticed that. I'll, I'll do a save here because I know I know I'm gonna get angry because because I tried this in Black Mesa Source and it was like what the lighting on. I don't know. All right, we're going down. I may as well jump to the ladder because yeah that thing actually stays there and and then it breaks off if you stayed on for too long I don't know it's cool okay alright so he's just kind of going on that stuff there's a bit of radiation there's a bit of this guy a little bit more cool Anyway, here's the fun thing. Woo! The guy down there trying to hit me. What? Okay, now here's something. Uh, you got these thingos that move around, but they stop here. But that's the challenging part. You want to stand on one of those ladders so you don't get hit by this thing. It's it's weird. It's a bit 
dangerous, isn't it? Anyway, what you want to do is you want to climb up here. Hit button number one. Also, this guy's like, this is this is my hiding spot, but the problem is that when you activate both of these... Let me see if I can try and get over there. As this thing moves. See so, yeah, how... You activate the thing, oh, and then it's... Crap. Oh, no. And then it starts generating electricity, and that's not good hiding place. For the... For a guy who doesn't seem to be wearing any rubber. Anyway, but... Oh, crap. Broke my legs, that's okay. Get off. Ladder. There you go. Oh, good. We. So, anyway, once you do that, then I leave the electricity it's on. I don't know. When you've done it, this guy's... Yeah, this guy will tell you it's good. Because the dials are moving and dial dials moving is a good sign. Anyway, to get out, you just climb all the way up. All the way up. Holy crap, this is a huge ladder. How tall will this be? This will be like about a good 30 meters. Yes, the drop will kill you if you fall. Like before the pit of radiation, and yes, you will take a hit there. That's why they hit this thing in the corner. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Alright, all good. Oh, yeah, and you also know that it's activated when this thing comes up. You think there's a way around it, but you just got to take it. That is one thing, though. If, if, you, if you gotta get hit, then, I don't know, it's a little bit of an odd game design if you have to get hit, because that's... Because players will try and avoid getting hit now. Yeah, you want to... First of all... <laughs> I'm sorry for saving like this, but... I hate this jump! The other thing is... Oh, crap, there's two jumps. Wow. hate both of them. And the other thing is that then... Then I want to try and get past this guy. Now, if I throw a grenade, maybe they'll look over there. Enough time to make a run for it. Run. Ah, crap. My spleen. Alright. Now, will I play more shooters, by the way, in the future? Possibly. For today's standards, there's a lot of really bad ones for let's playing and just playing in general. Like, for example, I bought Borderlands 2. It's a, it's a good game. Crap, 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 crap. Maybe I need to throw another grenade. I, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's tough, this guy. This is probably the only time where you actually really get cheap deaths. Everything else is quite challenging. This guy just randomly attacks things, and that's, that's my biggest gripe with him, is that he's just kind of designed a bit oddly. Also, he freaking hits you. It's like I want to turn around. Yeah. Did I get hit there? There you go. Obviously, throw the way I'm going, right? Yeah. Best way. Um. I mean, I could play other games that are shooters that are good, especially for let's playing. I I'm not a big person on first impressions. Like people do that already. Total Biscuit does it. I prefer whole game experiences. Like, I like playing through the entire game. And well, that's a very fun thing. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Shoot the lower level, and then it will go down. Except for that guy, it'll go up! Throw it near the friggin' thing on the go. Throw it down there. There you go. There you go. See, it's kind of a weird way of incorporating the grenades, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, when you're done, Jump and hit the button. So long, sucker. Eat fire. Oh crap. Yeah, they just started a rocket. Also, I think.
think, can you jump through this window? Apparently you can't, even though we killed the guy by smashing through, but okay. Play by your logic. Anyway, oh, crap, that guy died. All of them died, ooh. Anyway, whoop. Accidentally broke my legs. That's okay. Just kind of jumped down. Ooh, a bit of tentacle goop. The tentacle is actually a, an enemy, despite the fact that he only appears here. My flashlight turned off for no reason. Well, it was just the lighting was a bit different. Ah, we'll see you guys next time.